Hey man, welcome back to the channel. I want you to go ahead and smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you ain't already subscribed. Man, this like the this crazy man. It's like the hundredth day in a row, like hundred and eightieth day, man. They still ain't got no justice for Dolph, man. Why lock them cookie people up already? Just throw away the key. Lock your gotti up. I know it's a lot of people say, man, he was backdoor by PRE and that CMG ain't had nothing to do with it. Then why the hell was Raven and, and CMG right there in the Bentley on scene then? Why the hell was Black Youngster running around the parking lot on scene? You telling me a lot of people want to say these people that had nothing to do with it, these people had something to do with it, but all them people is on the scene. They all had something to do with it. Y'all ever have heard of corruption? Y'all ever have heard of a plan set up, a hit? These folks was waiting all day, man. They knew that as soon as he touched down at the airport in the private jet, exactly, they had the limo drivers following him. They had the dudes in the black suits acting like taxis. They just followed him ever since, man. You got to realize they dropped his location. They took over his cell signal and everything. They don't want to release the text messages they don't even want to show y'all the video of them just driving up. Simple as that. That just show us the video of them on airways. Just show show us just them on the street, let alone the cookie shop. They won't give y'all folks nothing. Man, y'all got to realize that this whole thing covered up fake narratives. They they going to just go ahead and put it on the dudes. Straight drop ain't even in Cornelius, they not even in court for the young dog. They in court for a car. They in court for the carjacking. Straight drop in court for violation of probation, man. These dudes haven't been tried yet for the young dog. So like I was saying, we rolling uh, six months into this. Six months. And these folks still got Shondell Barnett running around and they admitted to it. They said they messed up that they didn't look for Shondell. Well, didn't y'all have him? Y'all looked for him. Y'all had him, but you let him go. You let him go because you let the man snitch. These people are stupid, man. They let, they think that because all these rappers are snitching that they could just have a snitch come in, tell him and release him. Y'all getting finessed by snitches. These people out here are getting finessed by snitches, man. The snitches just be making stuff up. They snitch on their whole team. They won't talk about the stuff they did, even though they the ones who was doing part of the stuff. But they snitch on their whole team just to lock their whole team up. And it's for the for the dumbass PD to release them back out. They know that if they snitch a certain amount, they're going to get released. So they just tell them what they want to hear, get released, and literally take off on the run. Fooling them, man. They just used all of our tax money, bro, to basically just get away with all that stuff. And y'all got to realize, man, they botched, they set up that whole scene that Ruth Chris, Ruth Chris need to be closed down. Yo Gotti Mom restaurant need to be demolished and detonated. Um, Makita's Cookies and every single person that's associated with it should never see the uh, free daylight again because them folks knew what was about to happen to Dolph and they could have stopped the whole hit. They could have shut down the store. They could have did anything. They could have told him to go in this room, move this this and that. They could have told the people before bringing him to Makita's. They could have told him, no, you know what? Stop the Ruth Chris stuff. Maurice was cooking. They could have, when they was taking pictures of him, they could have said something to stop this. They could have said, no, not today, not this time. And you would have had a little bit longer, a couple more moments, you know. But y'all got to realize that they did nothing. They wanted to go with it. Somebody came to them with the plan and said, hey, Dolphin to end up here and we're going to make it so it looked like he got shot up here. And they agreed to it. They took the money that they, they should be in jail. They should uh, basically, basically, they actually deserve anything that comes their way. They deserve all of that because of the fact that they could not have not known what was about to happen. They had too much stuff went right in their way for them not to be involved nobody else gets hit there's they're claiming cashiers and stuff was there nobody was even in the lobby everybody was hiding in that back low manager's room while they had them other dudes that was strong enough to carry Dolph drag him through that back door and put him up by that window and they broke that window they broke that window from the inside 
they they Dolph didn't Dolph didn't uh pass at Makita's cookies. They they snatched him up on the way to Ruth Chris and basically in that parking lot, that's when they snatched him. They made him take all them pictures so he looked like he was okay. They already took his stole his keys from the clinic and they realized after Ruth Chris they tied him up in a chair and made him sign all the contracts. Made him sign PRE over to Daddy O. Made him sign all these different accounts over to Makita's Raven. They even had him sign and take out um the safety deposit boxes into 901 Trigger Trey name, into Maurice's name, into Maurice Hill name, Pamela Hill's name. They all have basically caught red handed. They have. The blood on the hands, basically. There's no denying it. They took the money. They let. They watched him get tied up. They sat there, watched him get tied up. And they put the blicky to him and said, you have to sign all this paperwork, releasing all the finances to um, Mia J, your uh, daddy-o, your gotti, uh, money bag yo's water company. Um, also, they had uh, Marcus Thornton. Um, there they have Maurice Hill, Pamela Hill. She has some things signed in her name. Nine hundred one Trigger Trey got the jewelry. Um, some of the people got the houses and the and the some of the properties that were just now being finished with the constructions. Um, man, they they took everything, man, and and Daddy O took P R E. Daddy O took the P R E. Makita's Raven took undisclosed amounts of money from uh safety deposit boxes. She uh broke into safes and all the properties, uh accumulated hundreds of thousands of dollars, including the GoFundMe. They got about over half a million each off of that. Um, I'm talking like if you take the jewelry, the property, the all the stuff that they had him sign, yeah, Makita's Raven got like a couple hundred thousand, Pamela Hill got a couple hundred thousand, Marie Hill got a couple hundred thousand. Mia J got millions. She got two point three million in the cars. She got the houses. Daddy O got PRE. That's worth uh, almost twenty million a year just on the uh just on the shows, uh merch and all that. That's even more. That's almost a fifty million dollar a year revenue source right there, automated. You already got the rapper son. You already got them booked and doing tours. So when y'all realize that they literally intercepted this dude's location and watched him ever since he touched down in the city, planned. All these turkey giveaways so everybody had an alibi. Try to get him with the clinic so he could come and... You know he has family members in that clinic that are sick and he needs to go and see them. They used that against him. They knew he was coming to the clinic to see his sick family and they pulled up and popped up a fake interview right in the middle of it. They popped up with them cameras. That stuff wasn't supposed to be set up. He would have wore a suit if he knew he was going to go and speak at that cancer center. He would have wore a suit. Come on, y'all. He a businessman. He would have looked presentable. It looked like he was in there casually just visiting his family. And then all of a sudden they popped up in with news cameras because they knew they wanted to document this because it was going to be one of the last moments alive of Dolph. So they popped up in there, made it look like it was a fake interview already set up in his face with the cameras, just like how Raven was in his face with the cameras when he was at the cookie shop at the truck. Ramon Johnson and his camera crew ran up into that cancer center, into that clinic, knowing that Dolph was there just to visit his family quick. But they got all up in his face, started asking all these questions, started telling everybody in the clinic to take pictures of him. They had him talk. They had him do a speech, man. They got a well-documented his last moments. And then they distracted all that and had that lady snatch his keys while he busy taking the pictures. After he they snatch his keys, he go back out. That's when he's going to Ruth Chris. The net, you know, and he was supposed to have that meetup with Big Moochie Grape. Big Moochie Grape set the man up too. He's the one, he's the one who knew exactly, exactly what he was about to do next because they supposed to meet for his video. It was supposed to be Big Moochie Grape video that they were supposed to shoot. And he said, I'm finna go, where are you going next? Big Moochie Grape said it in his own interview. He said that was he was Big Moochie Grape said he was about to go to his hood. And Dolph said he was gonna go to Ruth Chris. And that's when Big Moochie Grape told the street dudes to go snatch him up at the Ruth Chris. 
So then he got greedy. Everybody got greedy, man. You got to understand people who who aren't smart enough to think of ideas for themselves, free themselves, literally come up with ways where they don't need to steal another man's uh, game. They don't need to copy off of anybody else. If you a real person who who could use their brain, you will be able to make up your stuff. But see, Big Moochie Grape, stupid. He about the dumbest person in the world. He couldn't. He really was jealous of Dolph. That Dolph had a real big boss company in that Big Moochie Grape, just the worker. See, so what Big Moochie Grape did is bit the hand that fed him. He tried to claim that he started paper route, uh, you know, this and that, the new phrase that they saying, the paper route eye, the paper route with the, with the, with the pyramid over the eye. So Big Moochie Grape all of a sudden trying to say that he started that and he jealous, hating on Dolph because Big Moochie Grape is a terrible artist and nobody, nobody listens to his music compared to Key Glock. Key Glock has platinum records. Big Moochie Grape does not. <laughs> so that's the difference between the amount of viewers that are going to watch and listen to his music. Big Moochie Grape, he probably got a couple thousand fans. Key Glock got millions of fans. So Key Glock going to make more. Big Moochie Grape going to make less. <clears throat> so Big Moochie Grape was jealous of that. He was basically just mad that he's not good enough to deserve anything more than what he's getting. And to stupid people, to people who are uh, basically give in to the evil, they will take all that stuff the wrong way. Instead of realizing that they're just starting and that they're going to get better over time and get more success and money and fans over time, they want instant gratification. So they think that if on their first track, on their first whatever, if they're not already the number one rapper and making all the money from their label, then they think that people are hating on them or or that nobody wants to push them as much, right? No, it's just because your talent is only good enough to get you this many this much level of attention. But you want more attention and more money and more greed and more clout, right? So Big Moochie Grape wanted more clout and he he couldn't get that because Nobody wanted to give him any more attention because that's you. He, he hit the limit of the amount of fans and, and attention span people were able to give him. So he says he's just going to take out another man. And that's the way he's going to get his revenge. Basically, whether he makes it in, in his career or not, he just wanted to have his revenge for him not being able to have the means, have the ability to be a boss man. So. He's like, you know what? I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just hate on the boss man and drop the location, and somebody gonna take him out, not knowing that Dolph was the hand that was feeding him, and now Big Moochie Grape is struggling, and that's why he has to drop his new music, but nobody even cares because it's all trash. Nobody really liked Big Moochie Grape music. No, we all messed with Dolph. We all rocked with Dolph and Pre. We didn't come here because we're we're Big Moochie Grape fans. So that's all. That's it, basically. So Big Moochie Grape was hating. He set up uh, Dolph, basically. He technically shouldn't even be in PRE, and all the PRE do should stomp him in the head.